going to learn about polygons. Poly means many. So when we talk about polygons, we're talking about shapes that have many sides. And every single polygon gets a different strange name depending on how many sides it has. Let me show you what I mean. First, we're gonna look at this polygon. To know which polygon we're talking about, we need to count the sides. When I count the sides of a polygon, I like to use a memory marker on one side. This will be the first side that I count. That way, I don't lose track of which sides I've counted. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. This is a five-sided polygon. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. Pentagon. I'll put the pentagon down here with his pentagon label. Let me make some more space for our other, our other polygons. And I'll put a five right there. Let's look at a different polygon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a seven-sided polygon. A seven-sided polygon has a super funny word. It's called, let me slide it down for you. It's called a heptagon. Heptagon. Isn't that funny? Heptagon. I'll put the heptagon down here with his heptagon label, seven sides, and we're gonna look at a different polygon. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. Hexagon. You may have heard of a hexagon before because a lot of our triangle boxes in our classroom deal with hexagons. You can actually use several equilateral triangles to make a hexagon as we learned from our small and large hexagon boxes. I will move our hexagon down here with its hexagon label, the number six, and we'll look at a different polygon. This is one you've probably seen before. You might already recognize it as something that you see on the street when it's time to stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. Octagon. When you see this prefix, that's the beginning of a word as a prefix. When you see the prefix oct, that means eight. Do you know of an animal that starts with the prefix oct and it has eight legs? An octopus. Let's put the octagon down here with its octagon label, the number eight, and we'll look at a different polygon. This is my favorite polygon because it has the silliest name. Let's count its sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The nine-sided polygon, let me get our nine, is called a nonagon. Nonagon, which is just fun to say. Nonagon. I'm going to put our nonagon down here with our nonagon label, the number nine. And we're going to look at our last polygon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A ten sided polygon is called a decagon. Decagon. 
let's put the ten-sided decagon right here. He has to have his own space. Our decagon label, the number 10. And now let's review our polygons. A five-sided polygon is called a pentagon. Pentagon. There's a very famous building in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. that's shaped like a pentagon, and they call it the Pentagon. A seven-sided polygon is called a heptagon. Heptagon. A six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. Hexagon. An eight-sided polygon is called, I can tilt that for you, an octagon. Octagon. A nine-sided polygon is called a nonagon. Nonagon. And a ten-sided polygon is called a decagon. That's all for polygons. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.